When it comes to iconic dishes, nothing's more synonymous with Philadelphia than the Philly cheesesteak. And my subscription feed seems to be giving me more and more Philly cheesesteak videos. And hey, it seems that friend of the show, Andrew Ray, finally learned his lesson and started cutting his steak against the grain. And I have one thing to say to the chefs who are bringing me these new Philly cheesesteak recipe videos. No! This here is the real Philadelphia sandwich, the roast pork sandwich. Let me show you guys how to make it. First things first, preheat the oven to 500 degrees. Are you currently experiencing a gas, I'm sorry, petrol shortage? The number you're looking for is 260 degrees Celsius. Okay, before we begin, yes, I did eat at the Nick's Roast Pork in Philadelphia. Here I am back in 2018, me 100 pounds lighter, enjoying some the Nick's. All right, enough gatekeeping, let's get to the sandwich. Now, obviously, you're gonna need pork. Now, I have here a nice five pound boneless pork shoulder, or pork butt as it's also called, I didn't come up with the name, just go with it. Now, a lot of restaurants like to keep their recipes under lock and key, sometimes literally. But since this is based on Denix roast pork in Philadelphia, well, I'll let him explain. Salt, pepper, and garlic, and rosemary, and marjoram. <laughs> sucker. With that open secret, let us make our spice rub. Toss in some granulated garlic, ground rosemary, marjoram, pepper, and oregano. Give it a little mixy. Now back to our pork. All right, so this is a nice big chunk of meat. Apply a huge, nice lip. Um, generous amount of salt. Okay, there we go, that should give him a bit. Ugh. All right, once it's nice and salted, sprinkle on our seasoning mix. And transfer our pork to a roasting pan. Place our pork in the middle of our 500 degree oven. And reverse sear it for 10 to 20 minutes. All right, um, apologies, you'll have to deal with the oven noise. Besides, now that we're done searing it, we can now braise it. Now, the way Denix braises their pork is with the already made pork stock. One problem. I'm starting from scratch and I don't have any pre-existing pork stock. So, we'll have to start from scratch. My job. My job. Repetitiveness is my job. All right, let's start with the aromatics. I got one onion quartered and a bulb of garlic with the bottom cut off. Next, add enough water so it comes up halfway to the pork. And for a little extra kick of flavor, some white wine. Let's cut, all right, cover it in an aluminum foil. And now set your oven to 250 degrees. If that's 120 degrees Celsius for my fellow petrol heads across the pond. Uh, I can see you right now, you're making a bunch of America has school shooting jokes. Go ahead. I dare you. All right, take our pork, put it in the middle of our 250 degree oven. And let it braise for four hours. Rock, flag, and eagle! All right, four hours, our pork is done braising. Let you know right now, best sauna ever. Now, here comes the tough part. We have to refrigerate our pork so it'll be easier to cut and slice. 
I know that's not how you wanted to hear, but trust me, slicing stuff when it's hot like this is super painful. I'll give you a moment to wipe your tears. Wrap it in foil. All right, now we gotta take care of the gravy that's in this pan. So, so grab a filter and a large enough cup. Ugh. All right, as I was saying, grab yourself a large enough cup and a filter and pour our gravy inside. All right, now let me just store this into a proper vessel. Ran wrap because I can't find the damn lid to this. Now store your broth and your pork overnight in the fridge so it can cool. Can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time? Yeah, he's- Ah, uh, the brand new day full of porky goodness. Uh, not so fast though. Before we, can... Before we get to the pork, there is still one ingredient we need to take care of and that's the broccoli rob. But here's where I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate. I'm actually gonna be using broccolini instead. A couple reasons. Broccoli rob is a little bit hard to find. And two, it's a little bit too bitter for me. Broccolini, on the other hand, is more widely available and does well in a pinch. Well, I ain't welcome back in Philly anymore. Okay, so you're gonna need about 12 ounces of broccolini or about two bunches. And uh, just simply give them a nice rough chop. Okay, onto the stove. I got here a large pot with a steamer basket and some water at the bottom. And a straight sided saute pan. Okay, let's set the big pot to boil. I smell burning hair, did I singe it off some? Okay, and once the water reaches the boil, turn it down the heat to medium low. Place our broccoli rob inside the steamer. Put a lid on it. And let that steam for 10 minutes. Wow, car bitches! Yeah! Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Our broccoli is done steaming. Turn off the heat. Lift off the lid. And on to the second step. Put our straight side of saute pan over medium high heat. Toss in a bit of oil. Okay, once the oil eats up, add in three to four cloves of minced garlic. Transfer our broccoli. And mix everything together. And after about a minute of cooking, turn off the heat and it's ready for the sandwich. Now on to the next important aspect, the gravy. This is pretty fine by itself, but uh, it can be more flavorful. And we're gonna reduce it in a pot. So pour in our gravy. And uh, if some fat gets in there, don't worry. And set it to a boil. And let it reduce by half. Okay, the stock has reduced a bit and tends to find the flavor. Now let's reduce the heat down to medium low. Add our pork back in. Now let's finally construct the sandwich. Grab yourself a hoagie bun, slice it open. Add in a couple slices of provolone cheese. Pile on some of our pork. And finally, our um, broccoli rob. And here we are, folks, a lovely roast pork sandwich. And sure, it's not as easy to make or as fancy as the Philly cheesesteak without actually, but hey, you can go around and be a complete food hipster without, you know, actually being a food hipster. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. 
I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon. Yeah, man, making a sandwich from Philadelphia and sticking it to the Brits. This has to be my most patriotic episode yet. <laughs>